Hoyt's group of companies in Australia and New Zealand includes Hoyt Cinemas and Val Morgan. Hoyt's operates more than 450 cinema screens and 55,000 seats, making it Australia's second largest movie exhibitor after event hospitality and entertainment. Val Morgan sells advertising on cinema screens and digital billboards. In 2015, the majority of Hoyt's was acquired by a Chinese conglomerate, the Wanda Group. In Argentina, by Cinemark. In Chile, it was acquired by Cinepolis, and in Uruguay by Live Cinemas. Well, this is what this documentary is about, folks. So I present you all the story of Hoyts. At the start of the 20th century, dentist Arthur Russell bought a share in a small touring tent show incorporating magic and moving pictures. Russell also performed shows at St George's Hall in Burke Street, Melbourne, and in 1909, moving pictures was the only attraction. Russell eventually negotiated a long lease for St. George's Hall with the purpose of opening a picture palace called Hoyt's Pictures. By the time he died at the end of World War I, Hoyt's had expanded into the suburbs of Melbourne and into Sydney. In 1926, Hoyt's and the other two companies, Electric Theatres PTY Limited and Associated Theatres PTY Limited, merged to become Hoyt's Theatres Limited. In 1930, the Fox Film Corp acquired a majority of shares in Hoyt's Theatres Limited. In 1982, 20th Century Fox sold Hoyt's to start on investments, a group of four Melbourne businessmen. In 1985, the Fink family subsequently bought out the other partners to become the sole owner. In 1987, the corporation was restructured and two of the companies in the corporation were listed on the Australian Stock Exchange, Hoyts Media and Hoyts Entertainment. However, the company that owned the cinemas was not floated until 1996. The years between 1987 and 1996 saw Hoyts expand in Australia, New Zealand and the United States. Following Leon Fink's death in 1993, the Hoyts organization was sold to Hellman and Friedman and Lendlease. The company eventually went public in 1995. In 1999, Hoyt celebrated its 90th anniversary and was ranked the 7th largest cinema exhibitor in the world. In the same year, the late Kerry Packers private family company, Consolidated Press Holdings, bought the chain for $620 million. After that, Hoyt began to sell off international cinemas, except for some New Zealand cinemas. In 2004, Hoyts joined forces with Village Rajo and Amalgamated Holdings Limited to bail out Val Morgan Cinema Advertising, eventually taking their stake to 100% in 2005. In December that year, Publishing and Broadcasting Limited and West Australian Newspapers purchased the company from Consolidated Press. In 2007, Hoyts was sold to Sydney-based private equity firm Pacific Equity Partners. The sale valued the company at 440 million Australian dollars. In 
In 2010, Hoist acquired Australian Multiplex Cinemas in Queensland and the Berkeley Cinema Group in New Zealand. In 2014, plans were shelved to start a video streaming service under the name of Hoist Stream. In the same year, Damien Coe was appointed Chief Executive Officer and Hoist was bought by Chinese billionaire Sun Sichuan through his investment company, ID Leisure Ventures. In 2015, Wanda Cinema Line, a subsidiary of the Dalian Wanda Group, purchased Hoist from ID Leisure Ventures. In 2018, Hoist Kiosk DVD vending machines were rebranded as Video Easy after the group sold its subsidiary. Features available at many Hoyt cinemas include reclining chairs, large high resolution screens under the Extreme Screen brand, and dine in menus under the Hoyt Lux brand. Seats that move and vibrate in synchronization with on screen action have been introduced at some cinemas using D Box technology. The Hoyt Cinema Technology Group was established in 2008 and helps other exhibitors such as Palace Cinemas install and operate digital cinema. Hoist CTG also supports one-off screens such as festivals or corporate events. Teletubbies and the Wiggles. Well, no, he hates Barney and he likes Teletubbies and Wiggles, so that's not good. My name is Rowan Hard Dern. Uh, I like smelly butts that far. Oh, no, you don't. <gasps> oh my god, this isn't even funny at all. See, it's got uh, 29 dislikes and just two likes. See, Barney's really sad. Yep, Rowan Hard hates it. So, if you guys like or hate Barney, then I kind of respect your opinion. Okay, that's it. I'm going to block this user now. I've had enough. Yep, there you go. I've blocked him. So, what's today's lesson? Stop doing any more fart videos out of Rowan Horn, and he's our friend. Authorized by the Australian Government Camera.
Morgan was established in 1894 by Valentine Morgan and specialises in advertising on cinema screens. Val Morgan's sister company, Val Morgan Outdoor, operates advertising screens in shopping centres, gyms, service stations and office towers, as well as outdoor digital billboards. In 2001, Val Morgan acquired the Media Entertainment Group, leaving them to be the only cinema advertising company left in the Australian market. And in 2019, a joint venture was formed to advertise on cinema screens in Saudi Arabia as part of the group's expansion across the Middle East. Voice Distribution was the film distribution arm of the group, which existed in its own right in the 1980s to the early 1990s. It was later merged with the distribution operations of Columbia TriStar Film Distributors and 20th Century Fox, forming Hoyt's Fox Columbia TriStar Films, later Fox Columbia TriStar Films after Hoyt's dropped out of the venture. In 2002, the company was revived, distributing primarily films produced by nine films and television, and major independent studios such as Lionsgate Entertainment. In 2012, Hoyt's distribution was sold to Studio Canal and took the Studio Canal name in Australia and New Zealand in March 2013. You've seen this logo at the beginning of right after the LJ Films logo and before the Samuel Golden Films logo, but now you get to see this again. Anyways, thanks for watching this documentary film about Hoyt's, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and smack that notification bell when a new video appears. I'll see you in the next documentary film, and remember, if it's still hot, it's Hoyt's.